See how I can. So a linear combination of what? Vertex. Beautiful. Beautiful. So if you are U2, U3, the up to UK, that's representing uh, numbers. Uh, vertex in Rn. Rn. And if now the Rn is like 3D, 2D, and all that. Okay. And if C1, C2, the of CK are scalar. So that means that these are the scalar multiples. Then the vector this A is the linear combination of the art, of the vector. So that's all that we are talking about. Linear combination, linear combination, that's all. It's about scalar multiples of vectors. That's all. Alright, so now let's do that. Let's look at this. <laughs> let's look at this next thing. Given that wait, 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 wait. express V as a linear combination of what? U.
Uh, let me tell you one, one more thing also. Do you know the case that we use the LU factorization to solve system of equation and the PA and let's say gamma C? That is when you are having a square matrix. Don't forget. So, see, looking at this, you can see that this is what? A square one matrix. So you can go by any of the one, the method. Let's see another example that you can go by that method and see what you do. Alright? Alright, beautiful. Let's see our second question and let's see how uh, it's going to differ from the first one. Alright, determine if it is possible to express the vector this as a linear combination of two vectors. And these are the two vectors. Alright? So the second question, the first question was three vectors. Here, yeah, don't forget that. That's u1, u2, and u3. If it is possible, if it is possible, write b as a linear combination of u1 and what? u2. But when do we say it's not possible? That is when c1, that is when the scalar multiple is zero. Because if the scalar multiples are zero, you will see that you are not going to get anything. So it will not be possible. I always claim. All right. So now let's see. So we start with V being equal to C1 U1 plus C2 U2 plus C3 U3. Beautiful. Beautiful. But here we know that. Okay, so let's continue. So the V is what? Negative 1 C1. Then we have one, two, plus here yeah, we know that this part will not come. Eh? I repeat it just to generalize something. But you can ignore that part. So here is C2, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so this is what we have, right? So we can write it in a matrix form as negative 1, 1, 7. 1, 2, 1. Two, three, four. Right. So you can see that the matrix form here is not a square matrix. So you cannot use any of the method to do this. So let's use using row reduce echelon form. Row reduce, row reduce form and go our way. Alright, so with that we can be able to do it. So now, so we can write this as the matrix first. One, two, one, two, three, four. Negative one, one, seven. All right. So having it like this, then we know that with this idea, the idea is that we want to try and make the leading diagonal to what? One. All right. So if you're able to make this side to be one, then we can equate it to the to the other side. So what can we do to get that? So let's go. So row 2 minus 2 row 1 into new row at 2. So that will help us to get here to be 1. 0. Alright? Because here is already 1. And what will you to make here to be 0? That is row 3 minus row at 1. That one to will help us to get that. So when you do that, you know this already. 1, 0, 0. 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 3, 6. Alright, so now having this, here should be 1, not negative. So what will you do? We will multiply this by we multiply this by negative. And now I want to give you 1, 2, negative 1. 0, 1, negative 3, 0, 2, 6. Beautiful. So now, 
Oh, we have here to be one, here to be one. But we have to get here to be zero, right? So, what are we going to do to that? Too? We can see that. I hope you are watching. Uh, row one minus. Yeah, multiply, let's multiply this by this, okay? So, 2 row 2 into new row 1. But we have to also make it to be 0, right? So, the row will be R3 minus 2R2. That is, try to make it 0, try to make it 0. So, into new row. Three. All right. So you know how to do this already. So no worry. So doing that, then we are going to get one zero zero one zero uh, one zero one zero one. All right. Zero zero. Then you can use the calculator to test. It's correct. So here we are going to get here to be 5, negative 3, 0. But here, 0 is equal to 0 is true, right? So we can get 1, 0, 0, 1, 5, negative 3. So you can say that C1 is equal to 5, C2 is equal to negative 3. So it's possible. And if it's possible, we can wrap it in the linear combination as 5, U1. Minus 3u2. And that becomes the final answer for that. Good. See you for our game value and our game vector. Love you.